Being a high school student athlete can be tough for any teenager, but for Austin Harden and Faith Newberry, there's a whole new level of toughness, dealing with type 1 diabetes. So I was diagnosed on August 17th of 2011, and it was the week before my eighth grade year. Um, I had the flu for the first part of the week, and um, towards the end of the week, I started having some labored breathing, and so um, I started having some of the other signs of frequent urination and frequent thirst, and I ended up getting in the hospital with a um, diabetic coma, so my body started eating at the fat um, and using it for sugar, and so it basically took my body to the weakest point. I was diagnosed uh, March 9th, 2011, right after seventh grade year. I was really fatigued, so my mom was looking up symptoms of diabetes and uh, fatigue was one of them. I drank a lot of water, there's like nine or ten water bottles in my room. My grandma has diabetes, so I borrowed her meter and that morning I checked myself and I was in the 300s, so my mom rushed me over to Springfield Hospital and then a couple hours later they said if I didn't come to the hospital I would have uh, passed out and ended up in the ICU and been a lot worse condition than I was and then that's when I found out I had diabetes. Um, it's definitely been a challenge to um, play sports and have type 1. Um, I have found myself sometimes on the court where I know my blood sugar is low or high and I just don't want to come off the court so I don't tell my coach and then I'll go check later and I'll just deal with it later. Um, but there has been a couple times where it's gotten to a severe point, so I tell myself like I need to take care of it in order to not be back where I was at square one or be back in the hospital again. So just making sure that I catch it at an early time and take care of it when it needs to be taken care of. At first, I was afraid that I couldn't do everything I wanted. I was afraid I couldn't play sports anymore. Um, but I was there for about two or three days and the nurses came in and said, hey, I can still play sports and do everything I want. I can still eat everything I want. I just have to take care of myself. After that, I I felt pretty good about it because it could have been worse. I could have had cancer or something and not been able to do everything I wanted. So it, I just had to stay positive and tell myself it, it could be worse. Sophomore year, I did a project or like a presentation on Jay Cutler. He has type 1 diabetes and he has an insulin pump like I just got about a month ago. So that helped me realize in reading about his life story and how he takes care of it. So that kind of helped me get through it. Um, one of the athletes that I look up to the most is Jay Cutler, who plays for the Bears. And all the work he's done for like children's foundations and some of the scholarships that he provides money for really encourages me to continue to play sports and continue to make people knowledgeable. Um, I've definitely taken the responsibility of trying to make people knowledgeable of what type 1 is because um, some people really don't know the difference and there is a huge difference between type 1 and type 2 and even the other smaller forms of diabetes as well. There's a lot of people out there that have it and they need to know that everything's going to be alright. You're still going to be able to do everything you want to in the future for the most part. You're not the only one out there and there's going to be bad days and good days and the bad days you just got to keep moving forward and the next day hopefully will be a better day.